What's up guys? Welcome to another unboxing video. Today I have a special product with me. This. I'll be unboxing homebrew kit. This homebrew kit costs something around what? What are you doing? Just unboxing homebrew kit. Huh? Well who's the brewmaster? You. Shouldn't I be doing the unboxing? But it's my camera. Then you go run the camera. <laughs> Get out of here. What's up guys? All right, today we're gonna do an unboxing video for this uh, homebrew beer kit. This is a Belgian ale beer kit. Uh, it's got everything you need to brew five gallons of your own Belgian ale beer. And I got it at Avid Brewing Company in St. Pete, Florida. Okay, so we've unboxed our uh, Belgian Ale uh, Brewing Kit from Avid Brewing Company in St. Pete, Florida. Um, we've got a lot of stuff here. It looks a little bit complicated and overwhelming, but trust me, it's not. Um, basically, the first thing we're gonna start with is uh, the grains. Um, this is the first thing we're gonna put into our uh, uh, pot of water when we get that going. And then, this is going to be followed by this uh, malt extract. There's three bags of the malt extract. And then there's a, there's a liquid malt extract too. And so those all go in after, after we've got the water boiling. Um, and we've steeped the grains for about 20 minutes. So um, this all happens at the same step. So all this stuff is basically the same material. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of a shortcut. We could do an all grain brew but it would take a lot longer if we were just using a bunch of grain. The malt extract kind of speeds up the process so you can get, get it done in just, uh, you know, maybe three or four hours as opposed to all grain brewing, which is like all day. So, um, so after we boil all that stuff together, um, we're gonna add in some hops. Everybody likes hops, they smell good. They give the beer a nice aroma. Um, some beers are hoppier than others. Our, our Belgian ale here is gonna be about average hoppiness, probably not as hoppy as like an IPA or something like that, but it's gonna have a nice hop uh, taste and, and um, smell to it because we're gonna have two bags of hops here you know, as opposed to just one. And then finally, after we get the hops, the grain, the malt extract, and we've cooled it down, we're gonna put in the yeast. So the yeast is kind of the, kind of the magic sauce to the whole thing. The yeast uh, is a living organism uh, and it basically eats all of the sugars uh, created by the brewing process, you know, the, with the grains and the malt extract. Um, and it ferments the beer and turns it into what we know as beer. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's like any, any beverage or food product, they use a, they use a fermentation pro, uh, process. You know, they all use yeast. Bread uses yeast, all those things. So that's your four ingredients. You got your grain, you got your malt extract, you got your hops, you got your yeast. Um, these other two things here are um, things we're not gonna use, um, but you would use them if you're bottling beer. Since we're gonna be kegging, we will not use these. Uh, these are sugars that you add in after the brew is done, um, after you've bottled it, and this is what carbonates the beer. So you put it in this, like it's kind of a corn sugar, um, they also call it priming sugar. Um, sometimes it's called candy sugar, it has numerous names. Um, but it's nice to have on hand in case you do want to bottle your beer instead of keg it. Uh, some people like to bottle so they can take it with them to parties and things like that. You know, it's more portable. Personally, I prefer to keg because it's easier. You've got it, you've got fresh beer on tap, you know, on demand whenever you want it. Um, 
and yeah, it's just a lot easier than faster than bottling. But they, you know, they both have their pluses and minuses. So anyway, that's our ingredients, and um, I guess we're gonna get started with brewing. So guys, that was the unboxing of homebrew kit. We have another video where we have used this to brew beer where we have explained all the steps you need to do in order to brew beer at your home. So please make sure to check out that video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel.